There's such a variety of programs now that are called MBA or Masters of Management. Um, we've had the, the MBA, the two-year MBA, and then we've had the one-year MBA, such as m many European schools have. Now we have the one-year Masters of Management, which are coming right after uh, undergraduate programs, but that don't require students to have any experience. And, and so there's, there's a whole variety. I, I would say that the program that we offer and many of the top MBA programs in the U.S. offers is, are programs that have nine months of academics followed by three months of, of an internship with a company and then nine more months of academics. That's called the two, classic two-year program. Um, and it really ties into the way people hire students. I'd say 70% of our students take the summer internship with the company that they eventually get the offer from for their full-time employment. So that is a traditional pattern where you come for nine months, you take a summer internship with one of the companies that hires MBAs full-time, and you go on to that company the second after the second year. So the employment pattern is extremely important to that particular model. I think that people you know, we get a lot of international students, so do our competitors in the U.S., the, the two-year programs. London Business School is that way, too. And, and um, the students expect the two years. They expect that pattern of having an internship in between. And um, I think that students can select. Some other students want a one-year program for efficiency reasons, and they think that's enough for them because they're experienced, et cetera. And I think that the market is very broad. It's broad enough to accept a, a lot of different formats. Obviously, we're seeing many formats. And now we're introducing the blended formats where there's parts of it that are on campus and parts that are at a distance. Some are pure distance programs. So I think we're going to see many, many varieties of management education going forward. In Europe, actually, the pattern has been, since the time of the creation of the first business schools, uh, the pattern has been the one-year MBA program. That's the prevalent model. Probably the participants in MBA programs uh, in Europe is more senior uh, in terms of number of uh, years of experience and average age. And this means that uh, being absent from the actual uh, job is uh, quite difficult because the cost of opportunity becomes uh, essential. In addition, uh, I guess that uh, the, the, the environment and the reference for management career should be continuous education. So the MBA program is not a one-shot option uh, that you uh, have to take in order to train yourself for the rest of your life, but actually is the first stop or maybe the second stop. You uh, have to go back to school every five years so continuous education uh, will become a reference for most managers in the future. In addition, I think that uh, a one-year MBA program covers more or less the same uh, core subjects than the two-year MBA one. So it happens what uh, the economists used to say, uh, the same subjects but at twice the speed. Probably, you know, this develops in participants a number of uh, skills for example, working under pressure, which are very desirable for their future management career. But uh, I guess that we will attend in the future many different formats, including the blended ones that combine online education with face-to-face uh, -face modules. And of course, there's room for two-year and one-year MBA programs. But again, I guess that uh, since time is money, uh, if you can actually do in how the time what you can actually take uh, in, in twice the time, that will be a, a very reasonable and efficient uh, decision.